Hey everyone, so I got a package from Poggy Collection and look what I got. Uh, oh, yeah, it comes off a bit. So I actually won some auctions on Trade Me. And I won these two limited edition collections of the Pokemon series. And today I'm just going to be opening them and to show you guys what they look like. Yeah, this is Season 1, Limited Edition Collection, and I can't remember if they sell in New Zealand, but they sell in Australia. Oh, that's bad. Oh well, can't do much about that. I actually saw it in Australia, but I didn't buy it, because I thought it would be cheaper in uh, New Zealand, but I can't find it in New Zealand, no one's selling it. Okay, so let's quickly open it up and take a look inside. So this is the Season 1 collection. Uh, should I open it here? Okay. Right here. Problem with cardboard is that you always get a crease here, so you can only open it one way. Oh, um, so it looks like this. Oh, I see. So they split it up into two collections, just like um, what they usually do, um, instead of the box sets. Just like this, uh, click, so collection one. Um, we have collection one, collection two. Uh, let's see what the discs look like. So they're exactly the same discs as the box sets. Quite like the art. I haven't seen this sort of designs before. But yeah, I'm gonna have a fun time watching these again. Collection two, uh, collection one. Sorry, of Indigo, not Indigo. Um, Orange Islands. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I'll put that back in later. And Ruby and Sapphire. Uh, looks like someone's opened it this way, so I'll open it this way. And this one has four seasons. Advanced, Advanced Challenge, Advanced Battle, and Battle Frontier. This one's different. They put them into parts and they call it the Ruby Ruby and Sapphire series, which I guess is correct. Oh, discs are different, that's pretty cool. Uh, maybe they should have called that something else because they actually relate it to Ash and stuff, but this one's more just Pokemon. Um, maybe the whatever it's called blue and red or something version <laughs> yeah um so we've got five discs in part one we have one two three four five six discs in part two and yeah basically the same so yeah um I'd say only if you're a collector or haven't collected any of the Pokemon DVDs, then you should go buy this. Otherwise, stick with the box sets or the um, <coughs> separate collections, as those ones aren't limited edition and don't really need to collect them. But the box sets look good, so get the box sets if you um, just want to buy each series when they come out. Otherwise, if you're a collector, probably buy these limited edition collections. They're pretty cool. Um, there was that um, Heritage collection, and I actually ordered it, but it didn't come because they sold out. Um, so unfortunately, I don't have it, and they're all sold out now. So if anyone knows where I can get them at a reasonable price, then Please let me know. Um, but yeah, 
Um, I don't think I'll order from Fish Pond Australia again. The reason why I bought it from Fish Pond was because it was like $50 cheaper, and I thought, yeah, $50, I should buy it from there. <sighs> but who knew it wouldn't come? So, um, definitely trust your sites. I'd probably next time not buy from Fish Pond, even the New Zealand one. Um, Mighty Apes a good site. Uh, JB Hi Fi. Um,. What else? Um, trusted online sellers like Chloe Brown is a good person to buy Pokemon stuff from, even though they don't sell DVDs. But yeah, um, yeah, and just retail stores in store. But yeah, um, definitely take a look at these uh, if you're interested. But I'd say they're more for collectors. But yeah, um, hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys next time in my next video. So until then, bye!